going to talk about some boring concepts now. The first one I'm going to talk about is rotation. What we really need to make sure is that we turn our core constantly to match our partner. So that you want to feel that your upper body turns to match your partner. So you're isolating your hips and you're rotating through your spine to create that rotating action. You want your center as much as possible to always be towards your center of your partner as they move from one side of you to the other. Another action that we use within the Paradance Ballroom is sway. From a sway point of view, we wanna make sure we're not dropping a side, but we're lifting the other side more. So if I sway to my right, I lift the left side rather than drop the right side. So I'm staying elevated, and then I go the other way, staying elevated. I'm moving my ribs across and stretching both sides. It's just that I'm stretching one more than the other so that I don't create a heavy downward sway, but I create an elevated sway. Another thing with the standard is we want to ensure our setup is correct. From the paradigm's point of view, you want your elbows just below your shoulder, slightly forward of your shoulders. Your left hand will vary according to your partner, but your right hand will be roughly about your eye level. And you want to feel that you can keep your shoulders nice and relaxed. So that if we're doing the rotation, for instance, I'm keeping my shoulders relaxed. If I'm doing this way, I'm keeping my shoulders relaxed. What I want to make sure I'm doing is moving in the, I'm moving everything as one rather than independent. I think about this as being like a kite, from elbow to elbow, from the top of your head down to your base, it's a kite and you move the whole lot together rather than moving things independently which creates distortions in your top line. Another action I want to talk about is your, your sternum. Your sternum is forward and elevated up towards your standing partner so that you have your sternum pulled forward and up towards your partner so that you're here rather than me being in what might be my normal day sitting position, I actually elevate while I'm on the floor. And I would do that from the minute you walk on the floor to the minute you walk off the floor. You would keep yourself engaged and ready to, ready to dance. Feel that you've got a hook that's lifting you up and that's extending your spine as much as you can, but your shoulders are settled and engaged. Your pectoral muscles are nicely stretched, so I'm not in my typing position, but I'm in a nice, elevated, ready to engage with my partner position. Thank you.